course it doesn't drip when it's out in the street. All right, bring it to Thunder Bikes. Hopefully they can fix it. I'm at 9,030 miles. All right, so as you've seen in the beginning of the video, I'm dealing with another oil leak. This time it's coming from underneath. I don't know if it's coming from the inner primary or if it's coming from the transmission side. It doesn't look like it's coming from the shift shaft hole, which I'll post a link to that video, which I did fix that, where it was coming out that shift shaft hole in the, the outer primary and also on the inner side of the primary. Um, that was due to the tower gasket not being there. I used some RTV sealant on the outside. That fixed it temporarily until I could take that primary off and replace the tower gasket underneath. But I'm dealing with a bigger problem now. This time it happens when the bike is sitting for a while. Um, I've been out riding and then I come and I park it, put it in the garage, come out three, four hours later, and I got a couple drips of oil underneath. And it seems to be you know, once the bike is leaned, it's it's leaning to, the, or it's leaking from the left. So I'm thinking it's coming from the transmission seal because if you look underneath, it's not, if the bike is parked, all the oil is gonna be pulled over on the left side, on the primary side. I don't think it's gonna defy gravity and, and creep up the other way and go over the belt and cover the, the front spool like that. Uh, and it's hard to tell what fluid it is because the, it seems to be very similar to the transmission fluid so I don't know if they've used Formula Plus in the transmission and also in the, the primary uh, or if they used different for the, the transmission but it they seems very similar so I'm having a hard time telling which it is. So I've done some thinking, I've done troubleshooting for like a week straight trying to find out, cleaning the area, riding, parking, seeing if I could see where it's dripping from. All I know is that lower half of the spool is wet, and you can see in the, the pictures, um, just the bottom half of the, the spool is wet. So it's not leaking when it's riding, or else that whole spool, I think, would be wet. It looks like while it's sitting, oil is dripping onto it, and that's where I'm having a hard time figuring out if it's coming from the transmission side, or if it's coming from the outer, uh, or from the inner primary side. So. I've decided to throw in the towel and I'm bringing it to Thunder Bikes, Long Island, uh, right over here in Port Jeff, where I live. And I'm just having them take a look at it because either or, if it's the inner primary seal or it's the transmission seal, that whole inner and outer primary is going to have to come off. The clutch basket's going to be after removed. All the seals are going to be have to be removed and going to need some special tools to do it that I don't have nor do I have the time or the skill set to really troubleshoot this. If it was the winter, maybe I would attempt it this way to have time to do it and could really troubleshoot and borrow tools from friends as needed, etc. But it's summertime and I want to ride and I just want to get it fixed. So I am dropping it off uh, over here, the Thunder Bikes, and hopefully she'll be in good hands. I know the guys over here are really good and hopefully they'll have a quick turnaround time and we'll see. So stay tuned for part two when I get a call from them and they figure out what it is and what the, the solution is to, to be fixed this and hopefully it, it won't be too long. All right, thanks again everyone. Stay tuned for part two and uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. Have a great one.